Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'll take you through how I paint weathered steel. So over a chaos black undercoat, however any undercoat will do just fine, I'm just going to do a coat of black metal by scale 75. And after having given that a little bit of time to dry, now moving on to some Abaddon black and Lamian medium, looking at a 50-50 mix for this. And uh, you can add a little bit of water as well and just apply that liberally all over the armor. And after having given the Abaddon Black and Lamian Medium around 15 minutes to dry, I'm now going to use some Castle and Green and Lamian Medium, again about a 50-50 mix and a little bit of water, and just using my size 3-0 Raphael 8404 brush, I'm just going to start stippling on some moss effects. Now at this stage, um, I mean, try not to add too much, but uh, also don't add too little of an amount of this, as uh, we are going for some pretty weathered steel. And again, after about 15 minutes of dry time for the Castle and Green Lamy and Medium mix, I'm now going to use a mix of Thrash Metal and Heavy Metal, uh, looking at roughly half-half again. And just picking out some details on the armor and also just mostly edge highlighting, as you can see. But also just some fine scratches along the armor as well. And again, as mentioned with the Castle and Green, just try not to do too much of this as uh, you in turn don't want to take away too much of the moss effect as well. But certainly do some little scratches over the moss areas. And now as a highlight to the moss, I'm going to use some Lauren Forest and Lamin Medium. And again, 50-50. And as you can see, this is where the moss really starts to come together a little bit more. Just brings out the detail of it that much more. And now just to add an extra bit of detail, you can skip this if you'd like, however I wanted just a little bit of water damage. So to do the verdigris, I'm just going to do Sotek Green and Lamin Medium. And really just following under some details such as the bolts here on the armor. Uh, not all of them, just a couple of them. And just little random spots around the armor as well. And you want this to be quite subtle, so add a little bit of extra water to the mix if you'd like.
And here are some photos of the completed miniature, Amos Duncaro. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. I'll have plenty more new tutorials coming in the near future. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.